All right, our next lesson here is about nets. Um, so nets are what I can technically call shape jackets. Nets are flat, two-dimensional, and can actually be folded to create their 3D solid. So for example, this is a net. Um, if you take this and you fold up those sides, you can actually visualize and see that we actually have a pyramid and it has a D, it has a square base here. D is just for the my purposes. Um, so it has a square base, so this would be called a square pyramid. Um, if I were to look at this one, and I fold it up, I have these rectangles that all come around, and I have two triangular bases. So this is a triangular prism. This one's a tricky one, um, but if you look at it, if you fold it up, this side labeled B here is actually our base, and the triangles all fold up. You actually have a pyramid, you kind of see it, and on the bottom it's a triangle, so it's a triangular pyramid then. This one, they're all the same. There's six of them. We actually fold it up. We create a cube because it was made up of all squares, so six squares like that. This one we can fold up. We make a rectangular prism. Measure the tabs on the ends. So that's your rectangular prism then. Um, so there are some ways to kind of help us recognize them. If we're talking about a prism, they're going to have two identical bases connected all by rectangles. The nets for prisms are going to have two bases that are going to look like little tabs and lots of rectangles on them. If you're a pyramid, pyramids have one base and that's connected to a point by triangles. So nets for period, pyramids sometimes look like stars, actually, when you look at them on paper. This right here, the two tabs, those are your bases, all rectangles, which tells me it's a prism. So those bases are gonna be considered rectangular, so we're calling them a rectangular prism. This one looks like a star. Here's my base. There's all my triangles that fold up, so it's a pyramid, and it's a square pyramid. In this one, I have the six that are all the same. So this one's one of those special categories. It's a cube. This one has the two tabs. The tabs are pentagons, and there's all five of those rectangles to go around it. So it's a pentagonal prism. If I look at the next page up at the top, I have all the, it kind of looks like a star. I have all the triangles, so we're definitely talking about a pyramid. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sides. So this is octagonal pyramid. And this one, my two bases are the triangles here. And I have my three rectangles that go around it. So it's a triangular prism. This one here is my base in the middle surrounded by triangles. So it's a pyramid and it's a triangular pyramid. This one has the two rectangles. They're on either side of a rectangle, which is good. Two more, so this is a rectangular prism. This one is looking like a star, so it's a pyramid. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's a hexagonal pyramid. And the last one here, we have the two circles with a rectangle that goes around them. So this one is a cylinder.